up now. Hey, hi, hello, Bushdra Jade here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So I've had a lot of you guys ask me, do I have a YouTube channel? Do I vlog? Am I on YouTube? Well, today's the day I finally decided to make one. So in today's video, I'm going to be speaking about GB domestic driving hours. Now for me, when I was revising for my theory exam, it was one of the topics I really struggled on because it was just figures and facts. So I've tried to put it in a way that you guys might understand it a little bit better. So when you do your theory test, you will get GB domestic driving hours is a key topic that all or most professional drivers will have to adhere to at all times. Notice I said most? That's because some drivers work on EU driving hours. If you want a video on that, just drop a comment down below. So, domestic rules apply to vehicle journeys that operate in the UK only. These are exempt from the EU rules and no written records are needed. You can drive up to five and a half hours consecutively, then after that, a 30 minute break must be taken. Or you can drive up to eight and a half hours, but have a cumulative break of 45 minutes within the duty. After that, you need to take a 30 minute break or unless it's the end of the working day, go home. You can drive up to 10 hours in any working day. However, driving a car or other work does not count. So here's a key term, spread over. It is the word used to describe the length of the working day. So whenever you book on to book off, this cannot ex exceed 16 hours. So for example, start your day, drive up to five hours, have a six hour break and drive another five hours. That is the length of your working day and it must not be exceeded. After that 16 hours, you must have a 10 hour daily rest period. However, it can be reduced to eight and a half hours, three times per working week. You can work up to 13 days consecutively. After the 13th day, you must have your fortnightly rest of 24 hours. This then restarts the 13 day counter. Although under domestic rules, the driver doesn't need to keep records of how long they drive for. However, he or she must write down their time on vehicle on the company's relevant document. In extreme circumstances, such as heavy traffic, bad weather, or other unforeseen circumstances, these rules can have a slight exemption to them. Just make sure your depot knows and has authorised it. So that is all for this video guys. If you have any other topics, please drop a comment down below and I'll try my very best to help you. If you haven't already, go follow my Instagram and Facebook. The links will be down in the description. Like and subscribe because there's gonna be loads more new content coming in the near future. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!